Good morning boys and girls. Today we're going to have a look at the months of the year and we are going to then do, not we, you are going to do an activity that's going to have a look at all of our class birthdays, what month each boy or girl in grade one has a birthday and then like we did for the Interhouse Gala, you're going to put that onto a graph and ask some questions about it. Answer some questions about it, sorry. So we have 12 months in a year. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And from remembering our capital letters, because these are months of the year, months, that is with a capital because it has a heading, it is a heading, but normally months would be a small letter, m months, and year would also be a small letter. But because these are months that have special names, each one starts with the capital. So the months of the year, there are 12 of them, and they are always in this order. So the first month, is so when we start the year, New Year's Day is on the 1st of January, so that's the first month. And then the last month is December when we have Christmas and we have the last day of the year in December. Then June is the middle of the year, it's the sixth month because half of 12 is six, so the sixth month is June. And then when I spoke to you about Women's Day and I showed you the calendar with August is the month that we're in at the moment. I said it is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th month. So it's the 8th month of the year. So that's how we work out the math state. I showed you that on the calendar too. And we had 08 for August because it's the 8th month. So this is month one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And when you speak about months, you need to know the months in order because you'll need to know what month comes before May, would be April. What month comes after August? September. What month comes first? What month comes last? What comes before? What comes after? So that's what you need to know. But for this week, all you need to do is just read these, find when your birthday month is, and see if you can read the month, you can recognize it and then do that birthday graph. But just let's read the months together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And some of you may know a little song about it. I'm going to try and sing it to you, but my singing is not so good. So excuse me, but this is a way to remember them. And it goes where it breaks it up. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, 
August, September, October, November, December. Right, I hope that you can have fun looking at where everybody in Grade One's birthdays are and that you're able to do your graph nicely. Remember to go through these words and read them so that you can remember the months in the right order and that you're able to recognize them when you read them. And remember also capital letters to start.